Okay, now we're going to finish up the site setup. Now, look, if I view this page, watch what happens. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And you see that it redirected us to this site. Now, if we go into here, to the payment page, and roll down, you'll see that it has our affiliate ID down there. So we know that that all worked. So we've now set up a masked redirect within our site. So the URL for our redirect is right here. So let's copy this link location. Uh, now nobody's going to be able to find our affiliate link because it's hidden from the redirect that we put in down at the bottom here. Okay, so now let's go back to all pages. And then we have our home page. Now I kind of glazed over this a bit. So you would put in whatever summary you want in here, but I should mention that you are going to want to make this keyword rich. Use the keyword in the first paragraph and scatter your main keyword throughout the review that you're putting on here. Now at the bottom, you would, since this is a video site, you'd say, watch this incredible video to find out more. Or free video, actually. Make sure you put free in there. Okay, and then we'll center this. And then you could bold it. Now, we're going to put our link here. Now, this link is, I just saved the link to our redirect page. So there it is there. So we'll add that link. That's now going to, when they click this link, it shows up as a, as a link on our site, but it actually is the redirect we just made. Okay, so let's update that. Now, let's go back to appearance and themes, or uh, widgets. And then we can also put a link in our text widget here. We can say watch the incredible video here or watch the incredible free video or however you want to put it here like this. And then you're going to have to put in proper HTML. All right, let's go look again. Okay, so we have watch the incredible video here. And then down here we have watch the incredible free video find out more. So either of these is going to redirect them. Have something funny going on with this. Not sure why it's doing this at the moment, but some little glitch here. Anyway, so that's what we do. We now have our site pretty much set up. Now there's a couple other things we're going to want to do. We're going to want to set up um, another page and we're going to want to set up a contact us page and we'll publish this. Now you can use a contact form plugin here. Let's go to plugins and add new. And then we want contact form seven here. So we'll install and activate. And then we're going to go to settings. OK, and there's already a contact form here. But what you need to do is just, if you want to edit anything in here, you can do it here. Okay, it already is automatically configured with the email address that you set up for your blog. So we have a default here. Now to put this in to your page, all you got to do is copy this bit of code right here. Go back to our pages. Contact form. And then we're going to just paste this code right in here. Okay, and update. Okay, so let me view the page. 
there's our contact form. So what we want to do now is add to the bottom of our header the URLs for the contact form. So let's go open notepad and let's paste that. So that's our contact us form. We're going to want to also create a terms of service TOS plugin or page. So add new. Then we'll go terms of use. And then you put any terms of use down here. So I'll get a good terms of use template and use that modify it as needed. We'll publish this. Okay, and then we'll copy the page location or the link location. Grab it and stick it into our notepad here. Okay, so those are the pages we need. Now, just one more thing, back to our home page. Go into edit. Now remember we installed the Headspace 2 plugin. This is so that we can add description and we can add keywords here. Now we have to go and actually set Headspace 2 up. So let's let's uh, go into settings and then we're we'll going to Headspace and then we go to page modules. Now what we want to do is bring up the keywords. So grab keywords here and pull it up here. And then if you click on the options here, it says here use your tags as the keywords. Uncheck that and save. Because we're not putting any tags in, we're not using posts. And we can pull this tags back out. Okay, so back to pages and then back to our home page. And now what we can do is put in our site our description here. Okay, and then do a good job putting your description in there with your keyword you're targeting and then your keywords. Okay, and now update. Okay, now to finish up, we want to put all of our pages at the bottom of the site. So let's go back to appearance and themes. No, we want an editor there actually. So let's go to the editor. Then we want to go over to footer. And then we're going to put our links at the bottom here. So we could just put right, in, right underneath here. We could just put the links here so we could, you got to use proper HTML again. So these are our links. This is for the contact us. So let's do center. And then contact us. Okay, I'm going to put a space and then I'm going to put a pipe in there and then a space and then I'm going to put terms of use. Okay, I'm just getting ready for the HTML there. Okay, and then we'll put the proper HTML in here for the link. Okay, let's go get the other link here. 
Now, you can use a web editor to do this if you want, like Composer. You could build your links in Composer and then just click on the source tab and get the source from there if you're not that familiar with HTML. Okay, and then here, the same thing. Let's update. Let's go visit the site. Okay, and you'll see down here we have our contact us in terms of use. Here's our contact us in terms of use. We could also put a link to the home page there, but people can just click there to get it. So you can put a link to the home page if you want down at the bottom as well. Now, another thing I would suggest you should do is to put an opt-in form on your page. Remember I said that when you're picking products, you should try and pick one without an opt-in form on it. That is so you can build your own list. So you, you build a, a list on, on your autoresponder, you get some sort of a giveaway that's valuable, and then you give it away to them to get them to opt into your list. The same thing you do with pretty much everything else, but most people don't do that with affiliate marketing. That gives you a chance to follow up with the product that you're promoting. You can follow them up and uh, just take some bullet points or some features of the video and expand on them in the, in the autoresponder. Keep referring them back. And then you can also promote other products to them that are in, within the same niche. Now, it's a good idea to leave the link underneath the, the opt-in form. So give them a good reason to opt in, but don't make them opt in. Otherwise, you will lose some people that just do not want to opt into another email list. So opt in form and then the link at the bottom. Okay, so that's it. You now have a system set up. All you got to do is get traffic to it. That concludes the video series.